It's Friday. You know what that means. It's time for the studio update. Coming up next, Tattoos of the Week from Jack and Wesley. Also, the latest body piercing news. So stick around. <clears throat> What's up, guys? Wesley, my tattoo of the week for you. First off, check down there in the corner. You see my new name tag, so that's pretty cool. Drew that up for you guys. Now you can find me. Um, tattoo of the week. I did, uh, Leslie, my girlfriend, we worked on this dinosaur skull on her hip. Uh, with spring coming on, there's a lot of tattoos that are kind of unfinished tattoos. So I'm not going to have something to show off each week that is a fully completed piece. Figured, at least this way, you guys can kind of see some of the pieces I'm working on and follow along with them as they're progressing. Um, and also, I threw up the sketch um, of kind of what what I hope this piece will eventually look like when it's fully, completely done. Um, so yeah, without further ado, launch right into it. Her piece here um, on her hip, pretty awesome. It was a really exciting, fun piece to really work on. Um, she's really into dinosaurs, so being able to kind of put a lot of the texture in the skull was super cool. Uh, a lot of dark browns and some purples in there. It was really a fun piece. Um, eventually there's going to be the earth underneath it, and then um, we'll get an asteroid coming up to hit from the bottom beneath her knee. That'll kind of eventually hit the earth, wipe out those dinosaurs and stuff, and then a lot of outer space around the outside of it. Um, so yeah, it was a pretty fun piece to really work on. We got a little, lot more to go. Uh, we're about five hours deep. I think this will be probably close to a 15 or 20 hour piece by the time it's done with it, but we'll see. Um, as far as next week, my schedule is pretty open, a little, well, not super open. There's some time for some consults. I got a little bit, um, of open time, but it actually is pretty booked up. Um, I know March and April are going to be pretty booked up because of everybody's consults right now. It's starting to look that way. So yeah, let's sit down and talk about some of these ideas. I know it's kind of the walk-in season for some of you. Skin Kitchen's not got a whole lot of room for it, but definitely give us a call. Let's chat about your ideas so I can make that stuff happen. Cool. Later, guys. Dave out here with the body piercing news of the week. Did some piercings, enjoyed myself, did what I do here on a regular basis, and what I continue to do. Saw some old clients, enjoyed catching up, and having some fun with that. Um, also, uh, on the uh, adding stuff to the interweb, on the World Pipe, one of the things I did post this week is the second installment of Pros and Cons with a Piercer. Uh, it's where I take one piercing and go through the advantages or disadvantages, usually five of each, of each individual piercing. I'm going to be doing this for a while. This is kind of just kind of an introductory kind of thing. Um, this week I covered nostril piercings. So, uh, nostril piercings, Pros and Cons from a Piercer is up and you can watch that. This, the other thing I posted just yesterday was Body Piercing Basics, uh, episode number five. What it does is it covers, um, still working through that vocabulary to kind of give a basis of things we can talk about in the future. This week I uh, did some of the methods and common techniques that are used in body piercing and what those words mean so you know what they mean when you talk to your piercer, like me. Also, uh, kind of a group effort, the Q&A in the kitchen. Episode number 10 came out on Sunday. If you missed it, uh, this week we covered uh, why it's important to make a deposit. Uh, you can go ahead and check that out. I will list uh, the icon thing, which is either on this side or that side with O, with the I in the circle. Yeah, yeah, that thing. Um you can click that and go directly to those videos right now, or you can be like me and watch the rest of the video, and I will have it linked in the description. Till next week, hope to see you for your piercing needs in the future, and stay warm. Go to school. Eat your vegetables. Get off my lawn. Hey there, tattoo fans. It's time once again for Tattoo of the Week. Got a floral piece for you today, black and gray. Um, a piece I drew up, uh, did this all in one sitting, uh, it was about five hours, um, 
did it on a really fun client. Um, I really enjoy working on her. And uh, this is probably the third or fourth piece we've done. And um, she's got a piece similar to it on her upper shoulder. We might end up connecting the, the two someday, but uh, yeah, um, had a lot of fun working on it. Um, something interesting about this tattoo is I did it uh, all with the liner. Uh, typically you'll start with a liner machine and you'll go in and at least rough in or pull the lines, the you know, the clean lines that you want, and then you'll go in with a shader afterwards and add in your values. Uh, this, I kind of did it as I went and just used the liner to give it that little bit of a texture uh, look to it. Kind of a stippled type look, kind of kind of loose almost in a way, but uh, anyway, um, it was a lot of fun to do, and um, yeah, I don't know if there's much more I can say about it. Um, if you've got some ideas of your own, uh, set up a consult. Give the shop a call, shoot us an email, shop at skinkitchen.com. Tell us what your ideas are, and uh, we'll try to make it uh, become a tattoo. So anyway, I hope you're all staying warm out there. We're doing our best. Um, uh, we're still open. We're trudging through the snow to give you those beautiful tattoos you deserve. So anyway, um, everybody have a great week. Stay warm, and we will see you next week. So, you seen some tattoos of the week. You found out what I've been up to. All that's left is to like the video. If you did like it, we know you enjoyed it. We know you find it entertaining, so give it a thumbs up. It helps us out. Uh, if you have any questions, concerns, what have you, feel free to make a comment below. We do answer those and look at those. So, you know, if you got something to say, say it, please. If you liked what you saw, drop us a note and let us know that. That's a nice thing to do. Also, hit the uh, subscription and uh, notification bell so that you can get all these videos on a regular basis. Um, we do post every Friday this. We're also every other Sunday Q&A in the kitchen and my body piercing videos such as body piercing basics and uh, pros and cons of getting a piercing from a piercer. Till next week, we'll see you uh, and... Hope to see you in the future for your tattooing and piercing needs. Those in the future. <laughs>